This is Sky Watcher. Mm, it's only a 22 millimeter. Is it gem? This telescope is a refractor F5, uh, 12 inch uh, reflector, Dapsonian. Um, I've observed with uh, many eyepieces, including Naglia 31, with this instrument I'm talking about, um, APM 21 meter 100 degrees, and Panaview 38 millimeter, and Etus uh, 13 millimeter. And I can say that this eyepiece actually seems corrects the coma aberration. The stars to the edge are completely circle with dots. No aberration, no deformation of the shapes of the star. This is a gem of a time. I'm watching the I'm observing the M thirteen uh, nebula uh, global cluster. The stars of the global cluster are visible fill the stars around it also sharp pinpoint to the edge. One of the best eyepieces. If you get one of this, <laughs> don't sell it ever. Don't get rid of it ever. You never find anything as good as this. It's a magical magnification 22 millimeter, 70 degrees, 2 inch eyepiece, barrel size. And uh, it has a dark, provides a dark background, good contrast, at the same time, well corrected image. The thing is that you don't see this eyepiece ever on sale as second hand. Anybody who got it, they don't sell it. <laughs> this is a well kept secret. Now you may think Nagler or Teleview or something like that are really good. If you have not tested this one, <laughs> you will not know what is a good eyepiece. <laughs> and about a 50 pound. <laughs> New. 52 pound. This is the best eyepiece ever. Look at the size of the lens. This is the telescope I'm using, this big light bucket. Uh, this diagram shows how uh, different telescopes uh, show the M13. Okay, this is the max so vision. The 12 inch something and like the 24 millimeters in the is, is as good as the Skull Watcher SW822 millimeter. I'm telling you, this is a good eyepiece. Tonight, of course, the viewing is not as good as the last night. Last night, I could see thousands of stars right down to the core of the M13 global cluster. Tonight I can see individual stars, even at the core, but they are not as distinct and divided as what it was last night. Last night I could see the, I could see the M13 with the naked eye, as bright as the near nearby star, which is, I think is Alpha Hercules, uh, or whatever star is near it anyway, if it is not Alpha. And uh, I could see it with naked eye, just, just pointed the telescope right at it. Tonight is not as visible as that. With the naked eye, no, it's not as good. Or well, you cannot see it with the naked eye. But with the telescope, you can see it, and it's not as um, distinctive as last night. So it shows that it's seeing is important, even if you have a moderate instrument. Seeing is important. Oh, hallelujah. You can see the galaxy 6702, the one which is near the M13 uh, global cluster. <laughs> I just followed this pattern. Uh, M13 is between two stars which form around, mm, I can tell you, 120 degrees angle. Oh. A corner like that, which uh, the corner of the angle is the M13, the two stars are there. If you follow from first star to the M13, then you have to go at a 120 angle, uh, degrees angle, toward the l right, then 
same distance go upward from there continue a little bit to the right you see two stars down that two stars is a fuzzy faint fainting fuzzy and that is the NGC 6702 oh hallelujah <laughs> this is the finder chart for the constellation of Hercules and uh, this is also the finder chart for the M13 you can see the NGC 6207 the top the two stars in the lower and uh, left part of the cluster you see and the target is very easy in that 12 inch telescope of course the eyepieces were I was using were superb they showed it also yeah the thing is that of course I'm using the max vision 24 millimeter 83 degrees the thing is that M13 itself global cluster is magnitude four and a half so it's quite bright actually uh, NGC 6702 is magnitude 12 as far as you remember so really good I can pick it up I couldn't see it with the other pieces I've not tested yet so I've just may put other pieces and test to see if I can see with them also hallelujah 22 millimeter SWS sculpture and NGC 6702 is actually better um, and with direct vision you can see it's only diverted vision anymore direct vision is there and you can see it and <laughs> hallelujah APM 20 millimeter also shows it and I can see some details actually in that uh, galaxy NGC 6702 it starts to show some details getting darker of course when you increase it with magnification, but the wider field of view also is very nice here in this case. So APM also stands out, direct vision visible. Okay, Panaview 38mm is very good for finding the M13 itself. You can see the NGC Galaxy NGC 6702 with it. But it's not good if you just want to uh, find it for the first time. You have to use something a little bit with lower magnification. Uh, sorry, with higher magnification, something like 22 uh, Sky Watcher SWA or Max Vision 24 or APM 20. That will make it really, really easily visible. With this one, uh, the faint objects is get lost among the older details and because it's tinier you don't see the extension of this faint fuzzy galaxy so I will go for a lower uh, uh, focal length higher magnification definitely better although this is good it shows have all the field of view from all those three star two stars and uh, uh, around the M13 and the two little ones which are near the NGC 6702 you can see all of that and uh, this is the image of the uh, M13 which I took with a Huawei P10 camera plus camera and an 8 inch Schmidt, uh, uh, Schmidt Cassegrain telescope it shows the red stars very clearly these are the bigger picture bigger images of the uh, NGC uh, which hopefully shows NGC 6207 as you can see it's a galaxy uh, I have a better image of that here and you can see some uh, hydrogen alpha hydrogen uh, two regions in that image uh, interestingly Hubble orbital telescope also have taken some images of this you can see them here there's a relatively close 30 billion light years galaxy from us and uh, thank you for watching.